Wow. Wow. Hello. Welcome. Two Funny Mamas Live. What's up, ladies? Oh, that took forever. Sorry, viewers. We've been sitting here for 15 minutes, Chris. Was this before? Two funny yeah. mamas, two mm. funny mamas. Drop the drip, bend the bag the bit, bit. Two funny mama. What happened? What what happened, Chris? You know, I'm just so taken aback by your beauty this evening. No, I couldn't, no. I couldn't no. lock what in. I couldn't no, focus. Nope, nope. What was the technical problems, Chris? We probably should. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our live stream Listen. that we're doing. <laughs> see, he want to talk. You see? <laughs> This is the problem. That's why I don't date white men. See right there? Oh, there they it always, is. And we're on. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, everybody. This is our live. Mm. Um, this is our live podcast. I mean. It's not a podcast. It's a live. We're, we're just, doing it simultaneously. Simultaneously. What you been drinking? It's late. We both have been working all day, literally. So we're doing it simultaneously on Facebook. And we're doing it on Two Funny Mamas YouTube page. So this mm -hmm. is a live podcast. Normally we do this on Friday days and Saturdays or Saturday, yep. but we what? decided to uh, we decided to do it today because we had a little break in our schedule. Oh, yes, I'm trying to understand why I can't see the live stream. Mm, I don't know, but we just we just chilling. So I came over to Kim's house, and I'm so excited because my birthday, my birth today is the 19th. Yes. 20, 21, 20. My birthday, me and Jeffrey, my son Jeffrey, we have the, our birthday is on same the same day. day. Yep. So That's our awesome. birthday is coming up in three days. And I'm really excited because Jeffrey Kim said that we could have Jeffrey's birth sweet 16. Well, it's not sweet 16, it's macho 16. But we're having a 16th <laughs> birthday at her place. And we're going to do some arcade games. It's socially distant because her, her yard is way bigger than mine. So we're going to do socially distant. We're going to have arcade games smoothie machine we're gonna have chipotle um food court then we're gonna have a movie night now i'm not gonna be here so she's not gonna this. be here and Kim, i don't want none of that covid i don't want none of this nobody has break. covid we're, oh you're gonna test people we're having people tested before they come in a rapid test don't let nobody in my house and they better not steal nothing okay you have so much stuff they wouldn't know what to steal that you have so I have valuable stuff. No, no I, I didn't say I didn't see that's your that's your inner insecurities. Because I said Her, nothing. what I tell you about that finger. You ain't got a point <laughs> when you talking. <laughs> you and Whoopi Goldberg always getting on me for pointing. But your stuff is valuable. But what I'm saying is you have so much stuff in this house, nobody would be able to find it. You could have a diamond necklace sitting right here, Kim, and nobody will be able to find the diamond necklace because you have so much oh no they done found stuff. it before trust me <laughs> but let me tell days. you what you can find them doggone toys and them batteries they're in mm -hmm. one place that's right mm -hmm. they Real are cool. there ladies hey happy monday uh just want to remind everybody rush ticks.com t-i-x.com <laughs> slash two funny mamas is where you get your tickets link is at the top of the page uh, we'll put that in the comments as well. So make sure you all get tickets. You can join. Uh, you can join my mom because she'll be on watching. So get right. Those so tickets. tell us what we're doing. We're doing a live comedy show May twenty first, you guys. And whoever has bought tickets, thank you so much for supporting us. But we're doing a Kim and I are doing a live virtual comedy show um, May twenty first with Rush Ticks and and the it's at right at the top Rush Ticks dot com slash two funny mamas you can purchase tickets and you don't even it'll be six o'clock pacific standard time nine o'clock eastern standard time you don't have to get off your couch you can sit there butt naked and laugh mm -hmm. you can be your well i don't know if we want you butt naked and laughing because mm -hmm. the camera might catch you right, we don't want you right. get we don't want you know this cancel culture so we don't want you know hey, what if the camera want, catches if the camera catches speaking you. of camera catching we got to tell them what just happened so we went to this is the funniest thing I've saying. ever this is the funniest thing I've ever seen live. So I asked the ladies, hey, this is a random thing. You're giving back to the fans, you're doing a live. Jump on your Instagram, request Sherry as a co-host so you have both accounts activated. Get in there, tell the people you're bringing it to them, and then Sherry, you got up and walked away and then what happened? I got up and walked away because, you know, if you're in the same room, it's the feedback. So I got up to go in the kitchen. 
I request to go live with Kim so we can let you guys know that we're going live. And Kim goes, I got you. And all of a sudden, there's a woman with a shower bonnet on her head going, oh, my God. What? How I get here? What y'all doing? What's going on? And I'm like, okay, that's not me. That's not me. I, and I thought it was Sherry. And I don't know why. I was like, oh, what she do? Snatch your wig off? I was so confused. Because I do look like that without my wig. But she was like, and the lady was so confused. And she was like, oh, my God, what did I put? What happened? What I put? Like, it was like Dorothy in a new land of Instagram. And her name is La Erica. La Erica Brooks. La Erica and she was Brooks. like, my name is La Erica. What'd and you so say? La Erica Brooks. You're right. Yeah, yeah. He said, my I name is Lee Erica. I, no, no, I think you know why we're making a mistake, Chris. It's not Lee Erica. It's Nia and, Erica, because she said in like Nancy. Boom. Oh, she did. She so did we got her say name that. Right. Nia Erica. Nia Erica. Well, and so if anybody Kim knows it, her, tag her in the comments so we can get it right. Nia Erica. Nia Erica, if you're listening, could you please put up a comment so we know you on here and we get your we right want to put you on social media, but Nia Erica you. was screaming and holler and Kim kept saying we trying to go live and Nagira was like y'all we going live I'm gonna be on Facebook live and I, I was like but that's not me yeah yeah no you're right <laughs> it was so cute Nierica, thank you we posted it we're gonna yes. put your name on social media and you definitely are coming to this comedy show we're giving you two free tickets Oh, oh absolutely. Amazing. Our, our comedy show on May 21st because you were so funny so funny and it was so real and crazy. And I didn't know when you hit the request on Instagram that you can just get anybody. I accidentally, because I guess they people requested the same Well, when time. you have your reading glasses on, you can't get just anybody because you know exactly who you're requesting. And then maybe you're requesting. I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't about that. You were yelling at me and leaving and I just pushed your, where your name was. It and I think it was three or four, I didn't need red, I had LASIK. It wasn't that I was yelling at you and leaving. What I remember is you going, get out the room, get out the room. And I ran out the room, okay. bossy pants. All right. But well, wait, tell the, okay, go ahead, go ahead. My birthday is coming up in three days. Yes. I'm very excited. Jeffrey's having his birthday over here. He's having a movie night. Now the next week, because it's hard to celebrate both of our birthdays on the same day. And I want him to have his day. So the next week, I'm so excited because the roller rink that I wanted is open for business again. And with the, even with the COVID restrictions, it's a huge roller rink, which can house about, you know, two to 300 people. They said I could have 50 people for a party. And I'm so excited because I got 50 people. I don't know if you're on the guest list, Kim. Uh but well, I first of all, let's let's people. really go ahead and go ahead and I let's air excited. this out. Let's go ahead and get this on on out, y'all. Because I only let's got go 50 ahead. people to invite. No, no, let's get you this on skate, out. So. First of all, it don't matter. I'm the one that called the roller rink, and they said you can have 20 people. And first of all, they're not open. They said they're not open during COVID, but they will open it for me, not for you, because I talk to the people. They don't know your name. There's a whole lot of things I'm upset about right now. And they said they don't have food. We can bring the food in. You were throwing a party for me? Well, first of all, I, once I find out how much it costs, you're going to have to give me something on it. <laughs> Wait a I was Do you get a cut of the door? I can only afford two hours, first of all. So look, this is what we're going to have to do. I, hey, I was, but then you got your rich friend, Niecy Nash. I feel like Niecy should pay for the party, be honest with you. She got 17 <laughs> she jobs. She married now. She got, she oh, got, that is true. She's, she's on the budget now. But you got 17 jobs. I Wait, you're two. paying for my party? No, I I'm not. I thought that was no. my assistant. I thought I was paying for my party. Right, hmm. Well, no, I've been with you. I told you. First of all, you said, don't surprise you. Don't surprise you. Then I said, well, let's get a rent out a movie theater and we can watch a movie. Game. You're like, and nah, I said, no, I, I want to do it because that's not interactive. I, I want to bond with people. I want to bond. I want to I want to skate. skate. You know, I like to roller skate. I still, got the, I still got to wear a bust in my arm. Look, it was the wrong way. I'm frozen a little bit. Yeah, you, so. Yeah, that, look, I still got Don't my, nobody want to see all that. Yeah, but I like to roller skate. So I said, I don't want to do a movie. Now. I don't want to run out of thing. But I thought that when Edie, that's my assistant, told me all of this stuff, I thought she was just putting it on my credit card. Now I feel really <laughs> embarrassed telling you that you weren't invited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. First of all, so I still owe you for the podcast. So, and there's, I, I actually was going to take the money out of our uh, joint account. Out of the two money mamas account, you was gonna throw a party out of the profit that we that's all the money we got is how much it's gonna cost to throw the damn party. We still that is so embezzling of you. You're gonna embezzle the money. We ain't got but three hundred dollars, so I figured that'll pay for the food. 
I, look, first of all, you weren't going to ask me to take the money out of the two twenty dollars account. I feel I can't just give you a party because you can't do that because you got other girlfriends. They gonna get mad. Why you ain't give me a party? It's a lot of people in April. So what I was suggesting is that you give your own party and I help with it. I'm be honest with you. I got mad because my assistant told me that you hired a party planner. So I cussed you out earlier today. <laughs> I did. You don't want the party done right. I am a party planner. When have you ever planned a party? You've never planned My a party. My middle name is party. Are you killing? That, that's no, what your middle name is ADHD. Kim ADHD. ADHD. And then party. People got four names. Whitley. Chris, I hear you snickering. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. And I would just like everyone to know that my breasts are perky tonight because Sherry flashed everyone last week. <laughs> and I refused to go down like that. She wore nothing but a bra on this live. You know, it's so funny. People uh, called me and said, did you know that you were in your bra? And I said it was a body suit. It was a bra. I know, but it was a body suit with a bra. I didn't know it was like so deep. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, that's what they say. Okay, you're, first of all, you embezzled money from the Two Funny Mamas account. People okay with that? Who's okay with it? There's nobody that's okay with it. That's fine. That's sure. so rude. Hey, this oh. is our first ever live stream on a Monday. These are getting more uh, regular. So be sure to let us know in the comments if you are having fun. Hit share. Have a good time with it. And again, rushtix.com slash two funny mamas. I will interrupt you in just a second with some comments, ladies. Uh, but we've got episode 50 that's going to air next week for the podcast. Can you believe we're 50 in? We've done two funny mamas. We started our first episode on Mother's Day. And we, we've never taken a break. We've done. We're, oh, we're, no, no. Wait oh, a minute. Yeah, yeah go ahead. You tell you, Chris, thank go you. Ahead. I've never taken a break. I've never taken a break. You for a whole year, you've taken several breaks. Oh, I got to work. I got this movie. Oh, no, I got this TV show. I've not taken oh, several oh. breaks. I've been gone like three times. That was it. How many times I've been gone? None. Do I get any respect? No. Yes, you get mad respect. Okay, so what are you going to just sit there and shuffle papers? We got any comments, Chris? Yes, there was somebody who had to give me a critique um, about oh. the fact that I took off. Because when you said it, I just... Um, I, okay, here it is. Somebody wanted to critique. Uh, here's the deal. Okay, I'm listening. We started this podcast, Two Funny Mamas, on Mother's Day. And it's gone 50 straight. At, we'll be at our 50th episode uh, come maybe next week. And I've taken off because I have booked some gigs. Kim has held it down. We've had guests with Kim. And so we're going to do something. This is a Gerald LeVert bear that Gerald LeVert gave Kim. Because we just went live. Because we just went Eddie live LeVert. with Eddie LeVert, his father. Yep. And to talk about Gerald and his brother, Sh Sean. Sean. Yep. So Kim, um, on the, we're going to do something really special on the 50. We're going to put together like the best of. We're going to do some real mm -hmm. special stuff. Which will come out what, next week? So it'll come out next, next week, Thursday. right, Chris? So, next, so this week, we're going to have a best of on the YouTube show. We'll have some interesting right. stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get a little uh, live commenting from Sherry and Kim just to say hello from the Two Funny yeah, Moms account. we might account. do. We'll go back to some fun moments. And then the 50th episode, we have some special uh, surprises for people. We'll give away some things. And that'll be next week. So this and week, I also want to I want to say to everybody, if you're watching this live and you're enjoying it, please share it with the other folks. Let everybody know to come join us on the live. We're going to be doing a live once a week, preferably on, on Friday Fridays. night. But uh, Kim is hosting something for the Oscars <laughs> on Friday night and a Friday Saturday, night. Saturday um, re rehearsal and then Sunday's the actual Oscars. And that's when I'm going to go to work. So what are you doing Friday night that we can't do it? Why are you in my business? Because we were supposed to do it live on Friday. So what are you doing that we can't do it live on Friday? I'm busy. Okay. Like a grown woman. That's what I'm doing. Oh, you got to crochet. Like I see how woman. that works. Okay. There uh, we go. Well, so, I can't do it on Friday. Uh, that's why. Because you're working. Again. I booked something, so I'm Right. Working. So are you working? I'm not doing anything on Friday. I can do it. But I didn't want you to know that I could do it because I want to be busy, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to make it seem like you got a life. <laughs> Oh my gosh, incredible. Oh, we can uh, get somebody to guess for the live, but Kim is getting mad at having different guests on the live. But there was a lady who wrote in. So we're gonna so we're gonna do something special for the 50th. We're gonna give away some tickets to our comedy show on our 50th uh mm -hmm. uh on our 50th uh, episode. 50th episode yeah. We're trying to get to one hundred thousand followers by the end of December. We're at like forty seven thousand. So please push subscribe. So please subscribe to our podcast. 
and we're doing our live comedy show, you can go to rushticks.com slash two funny mamas. Now, someone wrote about me not being there every week. And she says her name is Tana Dominique. She said, I want to preface this email by saying, I love you ladies. I love the banter. I love the realness. I love that you put it all out there for our judgment and criticism. But most of all, you do it because you want to make us laugh. That's why we started this podcast. And Tana said, I appreciate and receive that I've always found myself taking your side against Kim. Mm-hmm. She, okay, you can tell Kim ain't listening because she I said she takes my side against I, you. Oh, oh, wait, but she said you right. But okay, go ahead. I'm but listening. she said, but this week I could not. I do not think it is fair to Kim to do this podcast with a guest when you're not around and you can't do the same when she is unable to do it. You're right because when Kim can't do it with me, I don't want to do it. Uh, that's what she, she'll literally she'll say no. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'll say no. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not I don't do guests very well. I did it with Coco, but I, I you do it better. That last episode was so cringy. Ah! The sound was really terrible. That's when I was in Canada and we were trying to do it. And then we had to hear the background noise on and off. On top of that, you said out of your mouth, I do not want to do it with anybody else. I think it comes off as lazy. Wow, (laughs) hell, you could have made the episode with Andre and Chris and leave Kim alone. If you think that's going to happen, Tana. Thanks, Tana. (laughs) Thank you, Tana. You think I'm gonna let Chris and Andre take over? (laughs) Two funny dudes in the house. She said, she said, um, the women would have loved that with Andre and Chris. You probably would have reached your goal of 100,000 followers (laughs) if you had Chris and Andre on. What? You must be out of Tana. Now, who is this? Tana, Tana Dominique. Dominique. And she said, she... anyway, it really pains me to say this to a Taurus sister, but you can do better. I don't think it pains you oh, at all, Tana. Oh, my God. I love Tana. <laughs> you should have Tana... given Kim the week off and had a guest in her place. Please consider that the next time you are faced with that same situation. Oh, with that being said, I will thank continue you, to watch and share because you make thank me you, laugh Tana. like no other. And I'm very thankful for you, too. I want to see this brand grow and prosper. And that is the reason for my critique. And remember, I love you ladies. You know what that sound like, Tina? That sound like a man that goes, you know what? I'm breaking up with you because you ain't nothing but a ratchet hoe. But I love you. It pains me to call you a ratchet hoe. But come on in because I'm still I'm gonna still get with you every once in a while and give you some of me. But you still a ratchet hoe. You got to get out of my bed. I mean, mm. Tina! Here's the She's thing. watching now also, by the way. So. Oh, Tina's watching right now? Yes. Okay, so oh, Tana. Amazing. Thank you so much for this for for this very long. I don't know if y'all can see it. Thank well, you don't so show much. Her email no, address. Well, I feel like Tana okay, has a lot of great ideas. Good. Let's expand. I, on I, that. Well, she does have good ideas. She's so thank you, Tana, for your critique. I love it. Here's the thing. I'm a perfectionist. A control and, freak. Uh, whatever. <laughs> when it comes to business, I'm very I know what I want and I know how I like it done. The reason why I am not able to do it with other guests, I waited, for, I bugged Kim Whitley for three years to do this why podcast. Say my whole name? Kim Whitley, three years I bugged her. And Kim was like, I'm busy, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I waited for her. Everybody said to me, everybody in this industry says, Sherry, it's your idea. You could do it with anybody and you could make this work. And I said, I can't do it with anybody but Kim Whitley. I can't. I Nobody wish, understood. I wish, you, I wish you would realize that about a lot of stuff in your life. <laughs> that ain't the only so thing. So nobody understood why I was, and they kept going, Sherry, you're wasting all this time. Like, this could be a huge brand for you and whoever. You could do this, this, that. And I said, it's not going to be a huge brand. Oh, Wait a minute. First of all, this is Andre. Thank you, Andre. Oh, my gosh. Look Andre what he brought, brought us. Oh Look at God. Andre coming through. Look oh at Andre. God. What Andre? Is this supposed to be done, done inside? What? All the way done. Say hi no, to you Chris. Go, you go rare. Hey, what's rare. Rare. Oh, what's up, man? Hey, let's slide in. Let them finish their food. Let's do a two funny uh, dudes. Oh, no, hell no. 
hilarious dude. Uh, on the live. I got some play last week. Did but he? now he's all trying to bring food in. Look to at us. that. The, the, the color's coming back. He's he's standing up straight. You look you look as slim, man. You look great. I worked out today, too. But his booty is juicy. <laughs> show him your booty, Andre. Show the girls your booty. Come on, juicy booty. Show them your <laughs> They called me socks last week. <laughs> Wait a minute, Andre made this like amazing uh, yeah, he sam. He made like a cold corn salad, mm. and then he made a hot salmon crusted. What is this panko or something? Here, like while they while you while you have a snack, Andre, let's uh, take some questions from the crowd. Uh, sure. Carpe Diem says, "Let him do it." Two funny dudes. I'm here for it. We've got uh, Tanya says Andre's handsome and can cook. Kim, your reaction? Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're eating his food. I, I, I mean, you all right. Y'all eating it. We are. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. Corinthian, right, we... Corinthian Pete said, Sherry, don't eat fish? Question mark. Yeah, she's eating them right now. I mean, no, I, no, no, I don't eat pork and beef. And let me tell you what happened yesterday. I eat everything. Uh, okay. I don't do the tank, though. I don't eat tank. Okay. All right. Listen. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, you Sherry, know what Tane is. Sherry, oh. enjoy your dinner, okay? <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about. Uh, v Lux, Andre and Chris, I love y'all. Uh, Juliet says, "Oh, it'll help meet your goal." Looks like we have a we have a lot of supporters for this. And Janie's life wants to know who Andre got play from. Cough Where it up. What was his name? His. <laughs> Mini. <laughs> Yeah. The many fingers you can get around. <laughs> Andre, can I tell the Docker story, the tight jeans story? Oh, jeez. Which one? <laughs> can I tell it? The one yesterday. It was so funny. Oh, can when I, I dropped something? No, you no, dropped no, the, the jeans. The uh, jeans. I, oh, I yeah. on a few COVID pounds. Okay, so here's the deal. Andre right is our buddy. trainer. Yeah, Andre's our trainer. Andre has a black, <laughs> a black belt. He, he in karate, he does Muay Thai, he does all of these Asian like fight things. And so he teaches us defense, self-defense for women. He teaches amazing self-defense for women mm -hmm. classes so that if you're ever accosted, you know how to fight and, and get away. He teaches karate, he, he's, he's like crazy fitness. And he teaches us regular with the weights and everything. So he's been really helpful in us losing weight. But COVID has come around he's put on, he says a few pounds. He put on. He, no, no, put on no. Some, Remember, so he went to get new. He, he can't wear any of his jeans. He can't put any more. So he wears shorts all the time. So. He wears the same white t-shirt. So Kim found out from his mother. She said, "When Andre gains weight, he gains it in his booty." And she goes, "What did she say? You keep his mother said. His mother said, "Oh, he gained weight." She said, is his butt getting big? I said, oh my God. I looked, I said, it is a little juicy. I've been, I've been calling them juicy booty. She was like, yep, that's it then. He's gaining weight. So he said he needed some new jeans. Because we were going to a birthday party mm -hmm. yesterday of a girlfriend of ours. Happy birthday, Ler Erlene Gray. Mm -hmm. And so Andre didn't have any pants that fit him. So they went to Marshall's. And he couldn't fit the jeans. You can't try anything on because of COVID. You can't. So Kim said, well, if we get you some Docker pants, then you better fit them. And you know when a man wears Dockers, them camera pants? All we got to do is get them keys to go on the side of it and be jingling. And, they, and Kim was looking for a key ring to put 100 keys on there because Andre was rocking in the rocking chair. They said like, I look like a custodian. <laughs> The way it gets worse. <laughs> so they go over to Marshall's. And he says, I'm probably a 36. He said, I'm probably a 36. So he, he used to, to be a 34. Because he used oh, to be man. a 34. I was a 32. Oh, 32. So he how thinks how that tall he's are you, Andre? How, what'd you say? How, how tall is Andre, too? I'm committed. Andre. Here. I'm about six foot. Yeah. Okay, so Andre comes over to my house because they come to pick me up. Kim, cute as a button. I'm cute as a button. Andre has the jeans in his hand. He puts them on. He walks upstairs real tight, like he can't hardly walk. But we heard there was a sound first. He put them on another room, and I heard, ah, ah. <laughs> I was like, what is wrong with you? And he was laughing. He comes out. 
Didn't it look like he had a yeast infection? <laughs> I tell you, them 36s was so tight on him. And then he dropped his, he dropped. I'm, I'm skipping no, a little bit. Yeah, it was your eyeliner. Well, my eyeliner had dropped. It was a lip liner later in the oh, day yeah. had dropped. And Kim said, and you pick it up. He said, I can't. My jeans <laughs> too tight. <laughs> but going back, I said, Andre, why the jeans so tight? And he said, I used to be a 34. 32. No, okay, 32. 32. I was going to say, those, thought, those, those pictures, you could probably wear whatever size you want. I, you can get back there. No, oh, baby. yeah, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back. Them pants gonna fit properly once I oh, move. Oh, well, look at this. Well, they were so tight. I was like, you're not gonna be able to make no more babies. <laughs> not in them jeans. Siobhan Sh said, watermelon booty. Oh, my God. And then I told him, I said, Andre, turn around. I was like, oh, my God, look at your booty. Did you it's see his huge. booty? It's huge. His booty it's was huge. huge. But it's firm. It, it, is. Looks, <laughs> it looks good. It's a good looking booty. That's why she called him watermelon booty. Yeah, it's, it's a nice booty. It's I, a nice ass. Because when you thump it, it's a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> So he had these jeans on, y'all, and they were so tight, he could barely move in them. And, and I get, so Kim tries to pull his t-shirt down. She don't want to get out the chair. Kim is an old auntie. She, come on over here. Let me, she got to try and pull him down. So then he put on the new shirt that he bought. What that shirt looked like? It was a t-shirt. He put that t-shirt on. It could fit Joshua. It could fit Joshua. <laughs> it, that t-shirt was so tight, it looked like it had two snaps it in the middle. It was so It tight. looked like I, a bodysuit. I used to wear medium, so I got a large. I thought it would, you know, but no, I guess I but That boy large. needed a 2XL. Yeah, you had a 2X, baby. He was at a 2XL. So then, so Kim tried to, and we was like, well, pull it down over your booty. And I said, don't laugh, because then your stomach going to come out. You got to hold your stomach in all night. So then he had a sweatshirt. He put so the sweatshirt. He went to, he, he had and the big, sweatshirt was the tight. The sweatshirt was too tight. <laughs> so can you imagine Andre got on tight jeans, tight <laughs> white beater, yes, yes. and a tight sweatshirt. This boy looked like a grape he, that was about to pop out of his skin. Well, he was come miserable. On. He was miserable. <laughs> and then got the nerve. When we got there, and then I was like, Andre, can you drive? He was like, I can't breathe. So he couldn't drive. <laughs> we get to the party. Oh, shit. Sure. Well, <laughs> you you almost knocked me down off the, on the floor. Now, how you gonna move the chair? I'm sitting on two chairs with y'all. You saw that, Chris? Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Teresa okay, says, Andre, Andre's slim thicken. <laughs> 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 So we get exactly. to the party. Exactly. We get to the party, and they got a whole spread on the table: yes. chicken, hot links. Um, they had rib tips. It was uh, just uh, you know, it was carrots. It was a uh, uh, you a uh, cold slaw potato salad. It was a spread. It was, it was spread. a spread. So I'm looking. I sit on the thing with my two pieces of chicken and some you know vegetables. This boy sit on the couch next to me. He got a full, he got a yes. rib, he got a beef rib that looked like that cow was on his plate. I'm going, Andre, the clothes is too tight. He like, that's all right, I can put it down. <laughs> I'm gonna get back in shape. Yeah, yeah, that's what he kept saying as he was eating the rib. Someone, someone said Andre needs a girdle, a man girdle, <laughs> a man girdle, a man girdle. Andre. Andre ate that rib. It wasn't nothing but a carcass left on his plate. Oh, yeah. It was a huge he, beef Let me rib. tell you something. Siobhan, Siobhan <laughs> says she's taking... Sorry, go what? ahead. Go ahead. What you say? Siobhan says when she gets back, she's taking Andre in to get measurements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what size I wear. Man. No, I mean, no. It's bad. It's bad. But wait. But I if I was in Boys Town... I would have been looking delicious. All I gotta oh, say, yeah. I been looking delicious. It was fitting properly. It was. It was fitting properly. Let hey, me explain. <laughs> we <laughs> suffered. I suffered, and Andre suffered today. We paid for it today. Oh yeah. Let me explain they something. Ate, they ate. No, all no, no, no. He ate that big old rib, and then he was blowing up the bathroom. Let's just be honest. And all day, I was like, "What is that? Is the sewer back up? <laughs> What's happening in the house?" I haven't had beef in a long time, but that real. But he good. ate that real. But then no, no, it didn't start to date him. It was yesterday. <laughs> I'm sitting on the couch next to Andre, yep. and he cupping his he's cupping his balls, and I'm on <laughs> Andre. <laughs> It was. I'm sitting there, and that is all these people. It wasn't a lot. It, it was. It was a bunch. Of, it was. She had a family. Mm -hmm. 
family and a few friends, but they all in the house, the kids on the bicycle. And I said, Andre, why are you cupping your balls? And he goes, because I got a fart. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I never know a man to cup his balls so when what? he got a fart. What but he goes, I got happening? a fart, but I can't go away. Does that hold your, your breath in? I don't, you I don't know. That's not a. It didn't yeah. look like he was Any in pain. That's on here right now. Make a comment if you have cupped your balls before. <laughs> Pam. You put in the comments that it has worked. Pam. And he was cupping his. What, Chris? Pam on YouTube said, uh, let's see, let me get back to this. Sorry. Pam says Andre's blowing it up. You got uh, more people, says Zarina says, on Facebook, says maybe some waste beads is what, <laughs> what Andre needs. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if you're watching on Facebook, if you're if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to hit share. If you're watching on YouTube, tweet it out. Get people involved in these. These lives are so fun, and if we can keep uh, if we keep moving these along, we'll keep doing more of them. Uh, Carpe on uh, YouTube says, "Has Chris cup his beans? Ask a white guy." <laughs> you know what how about the hey i sent i i did a thing uh, we had a comedy show here on saturday so of course i waited till saturday day to go get a new suit jacket for that i was hosting it i sent a photo andre you're never gonna believe this i sent a photo to my two confidants the people i trust i trust their creativity and their style and i sent a photo of the jacket and what did, it's like a selfie from a mirror Sherry, what did uh, what was the response? I was looking for like, hey, does I this work? I said you look handsome. I said you look nice. But you said, but look at them. Okay, all right, all right. That's <laughs> it. But she said she goes, but look at them big ass fingers. <laughs> and I, I said you look handsome. That was Kim. You know why? Because his hand was all in the camera, and the fingers is thick, Chris. You got thick, you got thickums. You got sausage fingers, Chris. <laughs> uh, they're, they're not sausage. They have long fingers. They're not uh, But yeah. It was no, she ain't said nothing about long. Them suckers long. was like tree trunks. Chris. Right. I want to put a little hot sauce on You got me on a sausage <laughs> hands, man. <laughs> I, listen, I can palm a basketball. That's a, that's not a small hand. Oh. That old tree trunk, you can palm a lot of stuff. A lot I didn't of say stuff. Nothing. Love it's him. just it was just crazy 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 andre uh has definitely i think he has fallen into the i used the way i used to be and watch it's yeah. gonna get back uh it's, it's happening it's i started today <laughs> wait 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 what's wrong a fish bone there's no bones in the fish mm -hmm. oh no you fish are you all right you need the hamlet <clears throat> Look at that. That is a long, I think one just went no. down. Andre, has she been having old men over? Look that's that. a gray, that's, that's a gray that's hair. Like a <laughs> that's a gray <laughs> hair. <laughs> she all right? Andre, I cannot have her choke. Is she okay? Do you need to go take dying. care of her? We gotta help her. Is she okay? <laughs> and you're laughing. I can't stop. Oh my God. So you all saw it live. This is when Kim choked to death. And First she's laughing. I you're emailed. To be it oh my gosh. I emailed oh, a photo, uh, Monk, just a heads up. I emailed a photo over there. <laughs> in your the, oh, you're my cold. gosh. Yeah, Gisela says, uh, Chris, oh Chris get your buddy. Listen, is she okay? Girl, right? This is almost as good as Nierica. Oh, and that she made. <laughs> she said, Andre, she over here screaming, talking about Andre, you so busy for fame. You want fame so bad? Well, fame calls. She's Louise. She's fine. She's back. She's back. What woman was that? I mean, that's from fame. That was from fame. That was Debbie I'm Allen. Sorry. You no, look what, like everybody you. Everybody just fame. looked away. Oh, God, oh. I was so worried about I thought she was dying. No one was worried because another one of y'all got up. <laughs> You I'm over here, great Kim. I'm screaming from St. Louis. There was a second bone. There was another Chris, bone. I thought it was and one I think bone. It's in my. It might have. Oh, can no. we get off? This is embarrassing. Eat some bread. Go get some bread. Bread. That's <laughs> what I. Pay, like, 
you eat bread. I'm telling y'all, if y'all could have Only said, person. If y'all could have said, only one watching cares about me. Nobody else has said anything. She's no, I was said, scared. No, watch. I was so scared. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, literally inside, I was like, Kim is something's wrong. Seriously, somebody go help her. Let me explain. Let me explain to y'all why this is. <clears throat> okay, so when I was in college, <clears throat> I ate a filet of fish sandwich. What? <laughs> I know you're not gonna tell me a bone was in a filet of fish. It was. Where's Andre going? Andre, no, he's done. He almost Where let me going? die. Come, where you going? Somehow I knew I would get blamed. If you didn't bring the bone in here, I no, wouldn't get No, it's choked. not about that. <laughs> if you bring it, I thought you was getting a piece of bread. Piece of bread did you say get a piece of bread? Well, you need to get a piece of bread. And then but that's against bread, your, oh, I'm done, you're done, I can't eat bread. Oh, but that's against bread. your low carb diet. <laughs> no, but if she's got a bone in her throat, bread I'm somehow it, it, it embeds itself in the bread. <sighs> okay. So right. you I'm was eating a filet of fish sandwich from McDonald's no. in college. I'm sorry. That's I was in the and how college. Long, how long were you dating the gentleman when he took you to McDonald's? That's <laughs> not even the point. What are you doing? This, why couldn't you bring me the light bread? The bread that has more, less than <laughs> light. <sighs> so you were, you were <laughs> okay, just wait. eat the bread. It's not a lot of points because you only ate the corner. Okay. You Do you want this? So I'm don't, like to no, eat. you're not going to eat. You want it? Are you hungry? You want the fish? You want the rest of the fish? Good. Eat the bones. Here. No, Here. I, eat the no, bones. You're not no, Robert, the, you can have it. Eat the bones. Hope the bones go in your throat. No, I want the vegetables too. Andre, Andre, you still here? Can you make me another plate, please? Can you make me another plate with the vegetables? Can you make her some more salad, please? Now, I'm so apologize. Let me apologize, first of all, to everyone watching. You this almost quite, died. <clears throat> Oh my God! Corinthian was... Pete uh, says, "Just eat the bread." Anna May, uh, Juliet says, "Poor Andre." Uh, Let me explain. Ryan, Ryan's in the comments says that was almost a very tragic episode of Two Funny Mamas. Did y'all get scared? <laughs> like, I want to hear your comments. Did, when when you saw him like choking, did y'all did you was y'all scared like me? Because all I kept thinking is she didn't embezzle all the money from the Two Funny Mamas account. And how am I going to make this podcast work if she died? Did, did you plan this? No. Was this, an, was this an assassination attempt, Kim? Is that what happened? Let me explain something to you. <laughs> did you fart? No, I didn't. Okay, now you're not here, let, here, let's, let's reassess. Okay, really Andre. Where's, the, where's the rest of the fish? Okay, wait. Okay. Here, where's the rest quick. of the fish? We're on live. I need everybody to be professional, please. That been gone. I apologize to our listening and can um, you just bring one piece of fish? Is there any more fish? Can I have your fish? I, yes. You don't have a fish. I got some scallops in there that you need to cook. I'm gonna cook those. Okay. Listen. All right. Kelly, uh Kelly. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, so I was in college at Fisk University and I had a play of fish. Oh, I gotta write them that email. And there was a bone in the fish, but I don't know. And I was sitting. You know, <laughs> people, so, people get a little peek into having a meeting with Kim. So yes, hey, I mean. hey, I think these live shows we got a really cool thing coming up. I got the venue booked. Uh, Kim, Kim, <laughs> with me. Kim, hello. Kim. Okay. Okay. Chris. Yeah. So I was sitting. You know, when you you eat in college, you know you you eat by yourself, and you you feel a little weird because you're by yourself. And I was eating. And the bone went in my tonsils. I didn't know. So I kept trying to eat bread and trying to get it out right, <clears throat> doing all that. The bone, I thought it was in my throat. So finally, I, I was just, I couldn't get it up and I was choking. I got up and mm -hmm. I went to the office and they looked in my throat and the bone was sticking out my tonsils. Wow. It was lodged? It was lodged wow. in my tonsil, but it was sticking out about this far. So by the time I went over to Meharry and went to the metal and to the emergency room, thank goodness, I sat there for a minute, but finally they took me in. This is the first thing the doctor says. He was like, open up. They put this thing. I don't know how they got it without me choking, but he put it to pull it out. He said, I see it. He goes in saying this. Oh, my God. I'm glad you made it here. Another uh, five minutes. And that would have been all the way in. Oh, my God. He pulls out. It is this long. What was what, So what when that happened. It was a trigger for me, but one did go. I don't know where it is. I'm hoping to God that it will either pull. You still got one in your throat? Something's in there. That was another one I felt. So you ate and the usually bread? salmon doesn't have you know, bones in it. How do you always get the fish that got bones in it? It doesn't normally have bones in it. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, here, really let's uh, let's cleanse the palate. Let's reassess this. I do have that photo that Kim made very sexual that uh, that I shared. What? Let's see. Let's review that. So, look, that sets an angle on the photo. Look Where at his hands. That's the picture he sent us. That's Chris, everyone. Look at Chris's thick hands and fingers. Look like a giant sausage. He wants us to look at his jacket. No, that's not what women look at, Chris. We're assessing things. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Hey, we've got now, we've got we've got over not... a thousand people tuned in on Facebook. We got a bunch of people almost First a thousand. Of all, take the picture down. Because they didn't gotta look at them hands. Oh, right, right. But literally, I'm um I'm tripping over this. You still have a bone stuck in your throat. Yeah, it's fine. I'm no, it's not fine, and you can't get it to help. But you didn't jump up, you or Andre. Y'all didn't leave the live. Because we got a live. We got a responsibility to the people who are watching. Do we want to just jump up and leave the live? Wait, so I could be in there dying, and you worried about the people? No, I was hoping someone <laughs> called 911. Did any one of y'all call 911 when I said, Kim is in there choking? I said, I was... do you hear I was trying to to quarterback instructions to say go go give. Yeah, I was hoping I Andre had the. I was like, surely somebody gonna call nine one one. And look, and every, uh, 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 this was really serious. It was serious, but I can't believe I choked, ran in the kitchen, so I had to. Uh, uh, we you know, heard had you. Everybody up. heard you. I had to uh, to get it up. Um, but it was serious. I don't know where Joshua is or anyone else. I didn't. Isn't it terrible to know that if you died, nobody came? Keep talking, Shirley. <laughs> I would slap the out of you in front of everybody. It'd be a live slap. Pow, pow, pow. How you gonna say that? I'm oh, sorry. No, we love you. Why are you sitting down in a hole and trying to act like you all little and petite? <laughs> and I'm all tall and, and Neanderthal looking. Let me get down. No, here. Kim, here's the I'm deal. I'm little too. No, you know good and well, if we thought it was really serious, we would have come running. It, it was. It, so you think oh, that was an act? No, it wasn't an act. It was serious, but it wasn't serious, serious. If it was serious, serious, we would we would have seriously ran out there. That's what happened when I had a concussion. <laughs> you mm -hmm. did get a, oh my God. Kim had a concussion. She was putting dishes up out of the dishwasher and the dishwasher was open. And then the cabinet was open as well. But I was frying kale. Oh, you were frying, frying kale. kale. Never and, did a sense. And you bent down. I went, I threw it in the grease and the grease popped and I back. I went backwards and the dishwasher was open. And, and you I, hit your head. I flipped over the dishwasher, hit my head on the counter. My friends are in the house. No one thought maybe we should take her to emergency. And she was like slurring I was her speech there like and everything. A, I was sitting there. They were like, you okay? I was like. She would talk in a language that you didn't even mm. know. And now one person, now one, and these are all Kim's close friends. Nobody thought to take her to the hospital. And so I think three days later, did you go? Three, something happened three days later that I probably shouldn't say. They took it three days later. I did later. something that was very unusual. And, and, and you do a lot of unusual things. Right. And so she did it. And that's when somebody was like, oh, shoot, there's something wrong. <laughs> and they took her to emergency and she had a concussion. And here's the deal. So even mm -hmm. with this chicken bone. Kim is such and a first dude. First of all, it ain't chicken. No. <laughs> <What's wrong with laughs> Sorry. Even with the fish bone, we got a live comedy show May 21st at 6 o'clock <laughs> Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Go to rushticks.com slash two funny mamas to purchase your tickets to wait, our wait, live wait, comedy wait, wait, show. Wait, 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 wait. And also follow us on YouTube at two funny mamas. <laughs> oh, anyway, Kim was just choking on this fish what bone. What is that? I got to keep my hair too much. Yeah, so how did you just boobs stop that? My boobs have to show because last week you had a bra on and walked in here and showed everybody your titties. <laughs> your titties. <laughs> now they not do it like that. I don't get the right bra. On. But Kim, here's the deal. You are such a, like, fish. you could stab Kim in the shin with a knife and she going to be like, listen, listen. I know you didn't try to stab me with no knife in my shin. Kim wanted me, but I'd be like, Ugh! with the knife. And she pull it out and come running after you. So everybody thinks that you're stronger than what you are. I'm not. I'm just a little petite, little <laughs> innocent female. Okay, that makes me laugh. I'm very, you know, feminine. Feminine? Feminine. Femin yeah. I'm feminine. I'm feminine. And so everybody thinks that when you get hurt, that you're really not hurt. Like even when you had your second dose of the vaccine, 
you got emotional and she started crying and I started laughing because I was like, oh, no. are you crying? When did and I, I was, cry? You did, you, you was like, you remember you went, she was like, Sherry, I'm sad. <laughs> she started crying. What was I sad about? And it was the vaccine. You was all emotional. <laughs> the vaccine got me sad? Yeah, you had your second shot and you got really emotional. And even you was crying and you tried to put the mask over your face and tears was rolling down her eyes. And I oh, kept going, yeah, I are you crying? crying? Yeah, she does do that. She's so, so disrespectful. <laughs> Just happened right here. Disrespectful. No. Y'all hear me? I love you so much, but I think you, you exhibit such a strength that people presume that you're not hurting. So like, I, I grew up with boys. I have a lot of masculine energy in my life. We know that. And so <clears throat> it's just like if Kyle. Who Ooh, was, was that a bone? No, no. If, if I had. Wait, is my brother here? Yeah. I see my brother two weeks. He's in the house. And it took him like 66 hours to get here. His flight was delayed everywhere. Oh. He wanted I to come see you. you. I told you, I told him you were getting ready for the podcast. But like Kyle, and it looks good too. He's sh shades and everything. Really? But Kyle, Kim's brother. If Kyle was choking on a fishbone, it wouldn't be like we'd be running after Kyle because we know you would do. You got it. So sometimes you exhibit these dude tendencies. So what should I do to change that? Probably started crying, but then I would have started laughing if you cried. So I'm trying to figure out what could you possibly do. Uh, so, I don't know, because if I started choking but on But I don't fishbone, want people to think that I am uh, masculine because that's why I'm single. But you know, I should be feminine. Like, okay, thank you. I'm so sorry. That, that voice doesn't That's even not, go doesn't with, make you feel mm. Okay, what if I say, no, I, I, so I'm like, I should be like, oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Like the way I was talking to Andre. Thank you, Andre, so much for the meal. It's fantastic. Thank you for the fish. Andre will start laughing right now. And thank, thank you. you for the salad. You're so kind. Is that we have to add, we're going to have a dating coach on. You keep saying that. Her name is Diane Valentine because you haven't hooked it up. You haven't booked it. You have Jimmy Wynn. You want her. She can come on any time, Kim. That's not on me. First of all, you are control free. Just tell me when she wants to come over. I told you that. Just book her. That's your gig. Book her. I feel like she's I'm, your friend. I book her. Say it, brother. You're looking for a reason to hit me I, on live. I feel like we're having dinner together. Or like we're out with y'all having cocktails or something. This is so much fun. So how about how um, about some uh, how about some comments from YouTube? Right, but let me let me tell something because you know Siobhan having a fit if I don't say. I want to thank everybody for watching me on Daily Pop on the E channel. I was definitely on there for three months straight. My my run is over on Daily Pop. I'll probably come back maybe in guest host, but I am on this week. I'm on Nightly Pop on the E channel, which comes on with Nina. 11. With Nina, you were doing it with Lonnie Love and yes. Nina. Can I say hands down, y'all three were so funny. Great show. I watched it. Y'all three were so crazy. It, you think we too crazy. The all three were off the chain. I think y'all should have your own show, like a nightly show, three black women and a laugh. Like, you know, doing it at nighttime. I really think y'all should get together and work that out and pitch it to the to the network people. Executives? The executives. Okay. Because it's funny. There's not three black women, you guys are hands down funny. Now Lonnie's at back at the reel. Mm -hmm. So it's just you and Nina. And today, y'all were so funny. So please watch it tonight if you haven't. Doesn't come on the. You East look Coast so show. hot. Uh, 11, maybe eleven. You I got on, on some black, black leather or something. Oh, you were hot. Thank you. I'll be on all week. And uh, can you, you ask Nina something for me? Yeah. Her boobs are so big. Like we thought we had big boobs. Her boobs, one big round one here, and one big round one there. So what do you want me to ask if you could see them? Yeah. Uh <laughs> I would like to see them. Not, see Chris, and then she's all serious about it. Like, yeah, we're just like to, like, like she's not sitting over here with big boobs. Hey. Because here's the thing, that's one of the seven world wonders, Nina's boobs. Yeah, they are. I mean, if you look at him on Nightly Pop, look at Nina's boobs. They literally is like a big balloon under and her firm. chin. And yep. And I'm all I can visualize. I'm like, boy, I know men be after you. Yep, man. Yeah. Evolving Thanks. Mama on YouTube. Yes, I hope my BFF and I stay as close as you two forever. Very nice. How about... Uh, Unless he die on choking on the chicken bone. Uh, Carpe's asking about me and the cupping bean. No, I do not grab myself whenever I uh, let one fly. Uh, let's see. No, that's Ray, Andre. Ray says y'all are so pretty. 
Uh, Sherry wants to motorboat, <laughs> says Queen on YouTube. Do you want to motorboat those? Is that what's happening here? Or are you going to play them? No, no, no. I think she just wants to see no, them. No, I just want to see them. No, no, no. Like, women are like that. We appreciate women's bodies. Like, I could look at a woman's body and go, she's got, oh, did your boobs get bigger? Did you pull your shirt down? No, this is how I've been all day. Mm, no, you've not been like that all Chris, day. Chris, have these been like this all day? I mean, we do our, our morning FaceTime, and they looked like that this, this morning, too, right? Okay, well, they, you need to get a tan. Oh! They're so bright. They're so bright. I was going to put on some browning because I felt they were kind of light. Yeah, you need a Rachel Dolezal, those. Ray, so, uh, Ray, Ray says, I hate being motorboated. It's weird. <laughs> What's motorboated? Show her, Kim. Oh, that's funny. I'm no, not, I don't no, want to do that to Nina. I just want to appreciate She's got lovely boobs. I just want to see you how know, they I stand have women, up. I'm not going to say which one. They're, they're I cute. have a lot of women that do that to me. I'll just be out with, you know, their friends. And they want to see them. And no, they don't want to see them. They want to put their, they put their face in them and they go like this. Women? Really? I've never had a woman do that to me. Yep. Because they're probably afraid of you. They're like, oh, Kim, I've had shit. lots of men say they want to do that to me. No, I'm friends. So I've never friends had, I'm, no, I've never if, had friends. I'm going to do it to you. Don't get off of you. If you've got access, like, why is that what you're going to do? do it. No, don't I'm do going that. to no, do it. Don't put your mouth in my boobs. I don't want that. No, I'm lonely, but I ain't that lonely. <laughs> uh, we got, uh, it's about, motorboat. It's not how about some more comments? Wait, um, I want everybody also to know if you if you have HBO Max, I'm on a show called Made for Love. It's a really great show with Ray Romano. She plays a spy, a nun who's a spy. I do. I, I look crazy. She's a secret agent. So that's all I wanted to make sure I, I said what everything and I And then Chris had a comment. Jennifer Wait. on Facebook says, where's Lierica? I want to know too. Lierica, star of the accidental IG Lierica, Live. Lierica, where are you? Yeah, we, that's right. We need to know yeah, her we, Instagram handle too, Lierica. If you if you all know Lierica, somebody's got it. that in public? Don't move your wig in front of the people. It's coming off. If but I you don't, don't do that. Can you step to the side? No, you I'm not stepping out of camera, and it's coming off. And if I don't, there are thousands of people watching. This is not like five people watching you, Sherry. I don't okay. have any body I can't. I can't take it. I can't. I can't take it. All right. Off. Okay. Okay. It's, I just don't. Can you just hold off. something for privacy, please? Mm -hmm. Can you just keep a little thing private? Oh. Yeah, just whatever. Sure. <laughs> hey, Sherry. I don't. You know what? Kim's just in a mood ever since she almost died. Yeah. On a phone. Because y'all never, God, ever. Every time you almost die, you in a bad mood. Because yeah. What's going really on? Really need to calm down. God is not going to let you go. Every anywhere. time I almost die. Yeah. Every time you almost die, you get in a bad mood. And it's really not that serious. God is not going to let you die. The problem is you, you wouldn't have even had to go in the kitchen if you had had faith. Your faith is not strong. That's probably what I was <laughs> I had faith you was going to be fine. Did you say my Lord? Yeah. Your faith is not strong. You over there choking on God ain't letting you go nowhere because he know I got to do this podcast and I can't do it alone. I swear. And I thank God that he loves me that much. If I didn't that he spared your love life. you and we weren't on this live, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. The things I would do to you right now. I know you want to. I'm trying to put water and pour it on you. Right <laughs> how about you want to be real housewives? <laughs> yes. Kim, how about a nice note? Trinity. Trina Tan, uh, I, I apologize. Trina Tan says, Kim Whitley, you're a blessing. She is. Thank you. I do have to, first of all, this meal that Andre made was amazing. It was some kind of salad with salmon in it. Then he made a whole salmon, encrusted very salmon. Good. And it wasn't, it was like cooked medium and it was very good. I'm, I don't eat everybody's fish cooked medium, but Andre did a spectacular job yeah, i think we talked about his booty being too big and he left he did he got self-conscious yeah, he got self-conscious because we talked about his booty no we talked suggested. about him letting me die and, and then we talked about him farting the jeans was too tight we just talked about andre a lot and we shouldn't have. we and do we have uh shanna on youtube wanting to know if sherry's been on another date oh you know what's so funny because i told y'all the date that I, I have not been on another date i'm about to join this uh high-end dating service you know, and that's going to be my birthday gift to myself. I am because Kim's dating uh, expert friend, Diane Valentine, who we're going to have on as a guest as soon as Kim gets off her ass and books her. I've been waiting. Her name is Diane Valentine. And we have we have uh, questions for her. I have so many questions. So I've been reading them. If you have a question for our 
dating uh, expert, Diane Valentine, leave it at twofunnymamas at gmail.com. I read them, I print them out, I got them in a folder. So anyway, um, I want to join this high-end dating service because it's interesting. They put you, they have a database of 500,000 people. They talk to you for 45 minutes to an hour because they vet you really carefully. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you don't even meet the person. There's no swipe left, swipe right. They find the, the person for you. Like the way they do on Married at First Sight and all of that, y'all hear Joshua. And so they find the person for you, Kim, and you don't know who the person is. So you're in front of um, Wait a minute, what? tech people, Silicon Valley people, people like um, Elon Musk who owns Tesla, because the men pay the bulk of the money. So they don't let you know who the person is that they've matched you with. All they will say is like, if it was you, Kim, they would say actress in Hollywood has one child and lives mainly in Hollywood, but travels, love making, loves making people laugh. They wouldn't say- Christian, that's it. And so I would be going to my friends going, it's an actress. Oh my God, in, in Hollywood. So they would be trying to figure out who you are. An hour before you talk to them, they say, it's Kay Whitley. Then you go back to your friends and go, it's Kay Whitley. Who is Kay Whitley? You have to talk on the phone for a minimum of 60 minutes and a maximum of 90 minutes. Minimum of 60, maximum 90. So they, for the price, it's 12 dates. And after three dates, if you don't like who they've been matching you with. Oh, and then after you talk to them for the allotted amount of time, then you got to get on the phone with your, with your sales, your person for 30 minutes to talk about what you like, what you dislike, because they put it in the folder. And then you would say, well, I would after, like to talk after, to them again. After you've talked to the man? Yes. You say, well, I didn't like that he was uh, chewing and smacking on the phone. Or, absolutely. Or, or he was breathing deeply. Or, yes, absolutely. You would say that. I ain't going to make it because they're going to say, I don't like that she was not paying attention. Exactly. That's that. exactly what they would say about you. Like, she zoomed, zoned out. She walked out of the screen. She was calling to her son. That's what they're going to say about you. And then they say if they want, they, so they have a 30 minute conversation with them mm -hmm. about what they would like about me and what they didn't. And then they tell the, the person, the rep, if they want to see me again, if they want to talk to me again. Why can't you just get on like match.com on these apps? Because you got to vet them out. They do all of that for you. That's what I'm saying. It's so extensive mm -hmm. and it's not. And so um, I'm only doing it because you guys, everybody that I know is in the entertainment industry. So everybody that people refer me to, they're in entertainment. Even the yeah. guy you referred me to, like he was a musician. And just like musicians, he talked to me for two times. He never called me again. Ooh. Hello. Well, uh, okay. he was really good. He never called me again. He was really nice. He did call you again. You told me he did call you. Yeah, he you called again. me a few times, but he had, he had a lot of stuff going on. So you how she turned it around? She's a but you would do hey y'all this is the reason why we did this because we're not talking we're doing a comedy show on mother's day weekend right but it's kind no, of a comedy no 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 you're not you're not it's, no, it's, you're may, not. 21st. Like you're it's may 21st when is mother's day may 1st i keep telling it's on mother's day well, show. May, may 7th may 7th may 7th is mother's day your show we can pop the flyer up and it's everybody can check that mother's out day show. So it's, you can get your mother tickets. May 21st. You can check it out. <laughs> no, I didn't. You right. farted in your throat. I did not. I did not. It was, it was, was that your throat? throat? You farted in your it's throat? It's that damn bone. Chicken bone. Here in RushTix.com. Yes. There's two funny mamas. Link is all over the place in the comments, everything else. It's a virtual hey. comedy show, and you all can buy tickets for somebody bought a bunch of the, the stuff. Yeah. Tickets for uh, Frontline workers. Yeah, because I wanted to read, read that out. Donation. I wanted to read that. Why we got? Why Wait. is it dark in here? How come we can't turn the light here. on? What, so I can turn the light on. Because you're doing it. We're going to go. Hold on a second. Okay. May 21st, go to rushtix.com slash two funny mamas. Tana and Dominique. get your ticket. I just want to say, Tana Dominique, the, the, I just wanted to finish answering Tana's question. Because Tana said, why do I let Kim have guests and I won't have guests? And why am I taking off? Because I know that Kim can do it. Kim has a rapport like none other. Kim can, Kim can walk in a room. Kim show. can talk to the president or the most ratchet person. Kim walks in a room and her joy lights up. I got to warm up to you. So when Kim has a guest on, I already know she's going to be silly. She's going to be like I'm this. So this, Tana, this is why I do it. Look. You have much more fun with Kim and a guest than you will with me. 
What are you doing? Because you got your shoulders out. You're trying to up, upstage me with Kim, your you skin. Kim, you already had your boobs What's out. Just, I didn't try to compete you with you. Over your I'm not on the spitting. Street. I'm not spitting, but I'm just saying, you sat here the whole time with your titties out. I didn't try to compete with you. I said they look good. What? What is what the, you trying to compete? What are you doing? <laughs> I can't have my arms out. I didn't do my titties is sagging like crazy. They all out of frame. They sagging so hard. Did I try to compete with you? No. So I got my arms out. Let it go. First of all, your tone is really out of control. But read the people. Finish. Sorry, Chris. Twenty plus years of the same bullshitty. Twenty plus years. I'm not. Hold on. So you Tana, gotta, you gotta comment. Here we go. We got a thousand of these things to read, and I want to go to bed. Shut, shut your pie hole. Hold on. <laughs> Who says that? 1936. <laughs> shut your pie hole. Oh Lord, I forgot to button up my shirt. That was my stomach hanging out. <laughs> Again. Uh, so anyway, so, so Tana, me. that's why I don't. I don't do guests. Kim does better with guests than me. Uh, my husband and I love your show. Everything about it. The format is perfect because it's organic, and it's like we're eavesdropping on two girlfriends talking on the phone. Let me tell you how much you mean to the both of us. My husband was diagnosed with acute lymphoma that was spreading fast almost two years ago. Oh no, he was doing well when the chemo, with the chemo, but when it came to a bone marrow transplant, it was awful. He got a graft versus host disease. Wow, it's when your body attacks the new blood cells. You have a lot of problems in your intestines, skin, lungs, kidneys. He was put back in the hospital and we started listening to podcasts, which we both enjoyed because we couldn't do much else together. Once he started getting stronger, they sent him home and my caregiving duties increased. I was so overwhelmed, tired, and getting adjusted to my new role of primary caregiving duties. We were both lost. Then we found two funny mamas. We would lay in bed and laugh and laugh. It was good for the both of us because he gave us a chance to laugh and remind us how we used to be. Oh, Currently, he is doing great, and you guys were a big part of that. Laughter is medicine, and we get healthy doses from you guys. We also love how Sherry bosses Kim. We love how Chris and Kim flirt together. We love Kim's ADD. It's fantastic. Say, Thank you so much. Lori Nelson Carruthers. That was the sweetest email ever, Lori. And we are so touched that we made you and your husband laugh. We're so thankful that you watched our podcast. Come in, Joshua, because we're saying thank you to somebody. Joshua, tell Lori thank you for thank listening. Thank you, Lori, for that wonderful note. Oh, that was good, Joshua. Go get that five dollars out the door. <laughs> <laughs> he looking. Joshua was like, "Where, where it go?" No, oh. Lori, uh, Lori, thank you so much for that. That's like, you know, sometimes I think, and I want to say this to everybody: when you go, "Why am I here? What am I doing? That's making a difference." You never know whose life you're touching. And we put this podcast together because we just love to talk and we really want to make people laugh, even when we argue because we love each other. We just want to make you laugh. So Lori, thank you. And Kim and I are praying for your husband for healing and that you, that, that you know, he's able to get back to how you used to be, but yes. even better. And we thank you. And we're going to give you two tickets to our live comedy show on May 21st at 6 p.m. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just ask a question. Oh, yes. Do we have to pay for these tickets? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, How about it's, every hey. time I was like, this ain't like a regular comedy show where they give you comps, Sherry. Every time we give out a ticket, it's, we, we got to pay, pay for it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going well, to purchase the tickets. No, we're going to pay for it. On we're YouTube. Giving, Sorry, on YouTube, Sabrina has helped you out, and she, uh, Sabrina can't wait to go. Her birthday's the twentieth, and bought tickets as a present to her to herself. Oh, that's thank you so much, Sabrina. So, Lori Nelson, um, I'm gonna email you because we get new two tickets to uh, the birthday. Thank Chris, you, Christopher on Facebook. Damn, Sherry, you looking fine. Oh my gosh, thank you. She the only one on there. <laughs> Well, probably, you know, he, he probably thought you was fine until you started choking on that um, bone, because that's not sexy. That bone almost took me out. It, it did almost take you out. Uh, uh, Shemay oh, says, what? I bought five tickets. Uh, five? What? Thank you, Shemay. Thank you, Shemay. Oh, my gosh. Wait, there's somebody who, because somebody is purchasing for frontline workers. I got you. I got you. You want me to tell you about it? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Kim and Sherry and Chris. Uh, I wanted to follow up, donating tickets to frontline, frontline workers. I'm going to donate six 
Please let me know what I need to do. This may occur. Can't wait to see the show. Hang on, wait for it. Cordially, Scarlet. Oh, is that Scarlet Ikaroma? Well, I wasn't going to say. Elevate Healing. Yep. Scarlet, thank you. So we're going to find you. out about your six tickets, how you donate the six tickets. We also got somebody else, a super fan here from Canada. I would love to donate some tickets to some Canadian frontline workers. So if you are listening to us from Canada and you are a frontline worker, this is Duania. Duania. I don't know your last name, but Duania, thank you. That's um, some tickets. We love it. Thank Duania, you so thank much. You. Thank you. Bobby Marion uh, had a question. Bobby said, what has been your experience with dating men over the years who may or not may have pre preconceived notions about who you are and your life as a celebrity? So what has been your experience with dating men who have preconceived notions about your life as a celebrity? Are you asking me the question? No, I'm asking the blue wall behind us. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm at yeah, I'm asking. Uh, I'm asking. Oh, this is somebody. Oh, yes. What did you? I think thought we were that? waiting until we had a dating expert. Okay, they're asking. No, what? they're asking. Okay, you. ask again. I'm sorry, my what, blood sugar drop. What has been your experience? Maybe that chicken bone is stopping. It's not me. chicken. Fish. What has been your experience you, Jesus. with dating? Oh, and people have questions for C. Mickey, so we got to bring her on. She's okay, a child she's, expert. She's watching us. See, Mickey, people have questions for you about the kids. What has been your experience with dating men over the years who may or may not have preconceived notions about who you are in your life as a celebrity? So what what do people run into as they date you? Well, uh, well, OK. Well, first of all, I hate when like you're on a dating side and you meet somebody and they be like, oh, that's sugar. I'm like, oh, from Friday. So they think you freaky like that. Right. They okay. think you freaky. They think if they run towards you, you're going to grab them and start tongue kissing. Right. They just think a lot of things. Um, people think that you're happy all the time and funny yeah. all the time. You know, we're not people. True. Yeah. Not true. Not true. You know, uh, most of the time we are, um, you know, we're funny. We have fun. But right. a lot of times, you know, people are men are surprised that I'm quiet. Um, mm. I was about, about to say, oh, Jesus, help me, oh, Father. Uh, I was about to say, oh, Toledo. Tol say yep. Were you going to say F me? Yep. <laughs> sure was. <laughs> oh, ooh, People are wow, ooh, wow, they, wow, they, wow. And I do, she is, Kim is quiet. When Kim is No, tired. no, shut up, shut up. You <laughs> ask me a question, forget it. Go to the next one. No, no I'm not answering. No, you sorry. answer that. You answer. Please. What is your preconceived notions that people have you as a celebrity when they want to date you? Huh? <laughs> you answer the damn question. Well, you know, it's very funny. Even the guy that, that I went on a date with that told me, he said he didn't want to date me because he, he said, I don't, that celebrity lifestyle, I don't want it. I don't want to be, he said, my ego is too big because he loves what he does. And he's got an ego. He says, he says I got an ego. Um, also, I think even the amount, he, people just think they, they, they think you're happy all the time. They think you're bubbly all the time. Not all the, I think I'm probably less bubbly than Kim. I call Kim. She gets tired of me hearing my, I fell in love and I'm, my heart is broken because she always tries to give me advice. I'm bossing up and I never take it. And she gets so angry with me. Then I got She got to listen to me crying going, I can't believe it because my heart get broken so much. But I think that um, people, men also have a hard time. People tend to call you by my last name or Kim's last name because they think, you know, it's it's. <sighs> We got to do a whole podcast on that. It's just too much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold back. Wait, wait. Chris has some questions from some viewers. Uh, real quick, some uh, some, some different comments. Yeah, we had some different comments. Uh, everybody's asking if these are going to be on Fridays typically. This was random yes. tonight, but yeah, we're looking at Fridays regularly. We're right, typically sure? going to do it on Friday. We just decided to do it on a Monday tonight. Uh, because we were going to shoot our podcast to air on Thursday, but then Chris reminded us that our 50th episode is coming up and we have to do something special. So, yes. Georgia on YouTube. I didn't realize Sherry was so funny. I've seen her in more dramatic roles than comedic great strengths of an actor. Okay. Sure, wait, hold on. If y'all going to compliment me, you've got to compliment Kim. Please do not no, compliment No, no, that's not it. What it is is she's been way more funny than dramatic. She ain't done that many dramatic roles. She's done two. No, that's not true. Okay, how many have you done, Sherry Shepard? I did Precious. Okay, one. I did 
the Brian Banks. Two. I did Abducted, the Carlina White story on Three. Lifetime. Three, okay. I just finished one for I Lifetime. I just finished four. Oh, okay, okay, okay boom, I'll stop. Be, but how many comedies going. have you done? Go ahead. I've done a lot of comedy. See, she can't too even comment. So what I've said, too many to name. She's way more <laughs> funny than dramatic. Talita. I mean, I'm not funny. But my life is a drama. <laughs> Talita on Facebook. I love the both of you. Y'all look absolutely amazing. Y'all have always been fine to me. Hashtag lesbian love. Thank you. Wow. Okay, I'm just, just reading the comments. Shout out. Uh, ja <laughs> Jacqueline, I love Joshua all the way from St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, also, oh. let us uh, let us know where you're uh, watching from tonight on the live. Uh, you ladies are the best. I love your interactions. You ladies and Chris helped me through the pandemic, make me laugh so much. Keep it going. Oh, That's from Sharon so on Facebook. So, yeah, keep uh, moving things along. Sherry, I want to go on a date with you. This is all caps. I don't know if I should read this. Sherry, I want to go on a date with you. I used to date, yeah, rapper, Young Buck's brother, m mother, Oprah. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, what it <laughs> so you dated I, Young Buck's mama and Oprah. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? You dated Young Buck read, the rapper. Yeah, I'm going to read the, I'm gonna read the whole comment. I don't want to... Well, there may be a punchline. All in caps. Sherry, I want to go out on a date with you. I used to date rapper Young Buck's brother, mother, Oprah Winfrey, father's girlfriend, Charlene Stewart. We talk about females I need a date with on the walk every day. She's 80? Huh? Um, can I ask you something, Chris? Don't. We No, 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 no. We hire you. Do you don't. vet? Ask them. Listen, That's what I'm trying to get to. Now, we have hired you. Emails you, that you read You're just read reading us, stuff, Chris. huh? You didn't read it first, Chris? Mm -hmm. Do you want Siobhan is on it? She can read them before you and send you it to you. You should have Siobhan do that. That'd okay, be great. Yeah, Siobhan yeah. is yeah, yeah, you that. You in sure do that. with Chris. Y'all going to fool around and have Chris on mute. Okay. We about to shut him down. Mm. How are you going to not bet a comment and just read it? As soon as he said, it's all in caps, I was like, this is somebody who wants to pull all my teeth out to make a neck. <laughs> have a Sherry I mean, lamp. Uh, Shemay Shem wants Shem Kim to go on the my titty. Push the titty. That's out. Oh, God don't like oh, 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 God oh. don't like <laughs> Now we're going to get off. Oh, now, now you've got a whole problem. You got to, you've stirred the hornet's nest. Uh, Beverly's upset with you. Says, yeah, leave me so alone. <laughs> okay, Car I can't. Carpe I can't. I says, don't leave don't Chris alone. Give us a couple more comments. I uh, started watching you guys back in January when I was very sick and I've been watching everything and I'm so glad I found you guys. I love your friendship and I love that everything is unscripted. That's from Ms. Sharon on YouTube. Thank you, but the friendship is... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be friends when we right. finish up I the see, podcast see, next year. Well, I see why she got divorced. <laughs> I see it. And I see why you sick. We had an argument yesterday in the car. If you want to know what the argument was about, go to my daggone Instagram page and watch Kim going off on Andre because Andre drove us back from the party. That's why he, we had him drive us because we knew we were going to be asleep. Kim fussed all the way in the passenger seat. She fussed at me while I was driving. And I said, and she going to say to me, scream at me in my face, that's why you single. I said, no, that's why you're single. And then she goes, no, that's why you single. And I go, that's why you single. And she goes, no, that's why you single. Back and forth. We kept, and Andre was like, are we going to leave? Like, what's going on? But we had each had a last word. And the last word was still, that's why you single. <laughs> what celebrity what celebrity lookalike do you get the most? Jack A. Oh, you know I get. Jack A. Who do I get? Uh, Octavia. Octavia Spencer. Spencer. Is, is it possible? Or Can Keisha we pull this off? Huh? I, I really need them to sit in one day and we'll do it unannounced and we should just do it live and have those two show up on, in Two Funny Mamas. How great would that Chris be? Just saying shit. I hate be you just talking. talking. It's you know, that's a creative idea. Thank you. I apologize to y'all. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> why are you? you know what this means? It's time for us to go. Okay, but I wait. Let's sell some more tickets and then we're going to get we on. We have a live. Hold up. What is, mm. is that a you, Octavia Spence is doing a movie called Thunder Force. Wait, I do want to say, y'all go see this movie. We, uh, Our girlfriend rented out a movie theater, and we oh, went to good. see this movie yesterday yeah, with, with uh, who's old boy from, uh, from, from Breaking, Breaking Bad called Saul? Who, uh, Odenkirk. And RZA was Bob in Odenkirk. Our RZA and Bob Odenkirk Bob was Odenkirk. in this movie called Nobody. Yep. It's an action. It's a lot of blood and gore. If y'all don't like that kind of yeah, action fighting, 
But that movie was so good. It's called it's gonna Nobody. Be, it's going to be a, a franchise one. Yes. People are saying, Nobody. people are comparing it to John Wick and saying it's better because Bob Odenkirk's so such a great actor. He's Bob so Odenkirk good. is a great actor, and he's he's literally like this, just kind of a nerdy guy. Yeah. And then I'm gonna they're gonna tell you nothing else, but please go see yeah, nobody. That was good. That was we good. Had, but you have it's a lot of fighting, a lot of violence. So you can't take your kids like when we went to the theater <laughs> and it was two kids running around the movie theater. My girlfriend's daughter, we love we love Tiana because she's getting her master's degree. She did her homework in the theater, uh, in the theater on the, the laptop because she's trying to get her master. She only got three more classes. And she brought the two kids with her. These two kids was running around the theater <laughs> until screaming they until they passed out. And then they were still crying because I heard Tiana go, stop it. Stop. She had her, she had her <laughs> have movies. And I'm like, and I said to Tiana, is it okay that the kids go to this movie? She was like, they're going to be fine. They were running around because they didn't see nothing. I mean, they didn't, they didn't see attention. nothing. Um, and we love Tiana. And we wish you all the best on the Masters. Uh, so go see nobody with Golden Kirk and, yeah, and Rizzo. Happy birthday to Yolanda Scott, my stylist. I need to my call her. My birthday's coming up. You didn't say happy birthday to me, but okay. I'm so all right, tired Yolanda. Me. Happy birthday to you. Lovely. Oh right, thank you. That's right. It's it's one a.m. on the East Coast. That's okay, right. and my birthday's coming up. I'm having a skate party. Having it's a skate time. party. We want to thank everybody for watching and listening. It is late. On Wait the a minute. Coast. Would y'all so, rather uh, I have a skate a party? They don't care. They're not. No, coming. no, no. I want them to buy answer. A take. It's one o'clock in the morning Hold on, on the East Coast. They, but they can't sleep. We got Would y'all rather? Oh, just let me do this. Would y'all rather that I had a skate party in LA with catered in food or rent a twenty-person bus with the stripper pole in the middle? Oh, take boy. twenty of my girlfriends to Vegas. We go to a, a Chippendale show. What? We go to, to Top Golf oh, at Vegas, and we just have a fun time in Vegas. Which one should I do? Yeah. Twenty like girls on a girls oh, trip to Vegas. Oh, but look at this little pants he got on. I said, "What you got on?" He got on pirate pants. That's oh, a costume. Yeah, you got here. your Halloween costume on. Arr, I'm pirate. Can you talk like a pirate? Oh, this ain't good. <laughs> 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 Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody gonna be in therapy. I don't know who. Somebody <laughs> gonna be in therapy. You know how to talk like a pirate? Uh, matey? He, why are you looking at us like we... Okay. This night night? Okay. Give, uh, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Ice from my, from my pinky what happened to your pinky? pinky finger? Let me Slammed see it. it in your door. Slammed what door? What door? What, door? what, what was you slamming your finger in the door, door for? Door. What door? What door? Your door. What door? Why were you over there? What door? My bedroom door? Yeah. Were you supposed children? to be in my bedroom? Uh oh, they didn't I, change I didn't quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Said, how you slam going? your finger you in there? Your finger finger there. Finger I, go I, I can't tell you because I haven't been. Oh, oh. What, what's that mean? We're going to get. Oh, wait. You found what? <laughs> oh, so you went and put them. Where'd you put them? I just threw them in the room. Oh, you just geez. threw my underwear on the floor. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, go go on now. Where was her underwear? Hey, we've got we've got votes, Sherry. Do you want to hear from me? It's a big old one. <laughs> a big old one. Wait oh, a minute. No. What you mean, big old one? <laughs> he just went and found it. He slammed his finger in Kim's door because he was trying to put his underwear, her underwear that he found, and his mixed in with his underwear. He said it was a big old underwear. Take your body. Mm. Okay, blow it out. Oh my gosh. Vitamins. Oh my God. What said, size do you wear? Yeah. You don't wear one size fits all. You wear yeah, I do. I wear teeny <laughs> tiny underwear. They just no, fit. He said it was a big old underwear. Oh man. <laughs> what did he say? Let that? me tell you something. Jeffrey. Looks like a fat man. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he did that for the lab. Yeah, they ain't no fat man underwear. Let me explain. <laughs> you've, been having, you've, been having some fo you've been having some fellas over? <laughs> No, this is the problem, is this. He got itty bitty little boy underwear. He does. So my underwear next to his underwear. And I say look sometimes big. mine gets stuck in the dryer with Jeffrey's. Right. Stuff. So it got he mixed gets up. So angry oh boy. when he sees my underwear. He hates it. Well, imagine how you would uh, uh feel if he saw him on you. <laughs> he did. Remember I told you when we had to stay in the hotel when they was fixing up the house? Mm -hmm. And I didn't know I thought that Jeffrey was asleep, so I was getting washed up mm -hmm. and I was bent over brushing my teeth, but I, I didn't have any clothes on. And he walked in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. He said, I've told you time and time again. I spit on you, I'm sorry. He said, I told you time and time again. Put some clothes on. Don't be in the bathroom with no clothes on. You're my mother. I don't want to see that on you. I want to see that on other girls, but I don't want to see that on you because that's disgusting. 
I felt so Well, that's just interesting, though. See, but we shouldn't. If we were in Africa, where we're supposed to be, oh, spit we would have been. I don't spit, spit on you. Me. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't spit I've on got, me. I've got. We've got votes for Sherry's birthday. All right. What they got? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm we got a blood sugar issue. Time. Uh, Brittany says yeah. bus. Evolving Mama says bus. Meredith says skate party. Fleur says skate party. Princess Dal skate. We're going back and forth. Everybody's, uh, it's a split vote. Charlene says skate party. Uh, Dean Nelson in the Cayman Islands uh, loves Kim also. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And I'm just sitting here. But okay. All right. From the Cayman Island. We want to go to the Cayman Island. It's not a they climb. We both cake. have to get up early. Oh, we in the both got to get up. She's got to get up do at four in the morning. Pop. I got to get up at five in the morning Dish for a Nation. Dish Nation. So you guys, uh, we got a live comedy show coming up May 21st. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do more Q&A. Come, you don't have to leave your couch. You can sit on your couch and laugh. And this is what we do. We oh, love God. to make people laugh. It's our passion in life. Yes. So go to rushticks.com slash two funny mamas. Mm-hmm. May 21st, purchase some tickets. Um, if you're a Canadian frontline worker, email me at twofunnymamas at gmail.com. We got some free tickets for you. Lori Nelson, you and your husband, we got free tickets for you. And just if you if you can't afford to get a ticket, just send me an email and tell me why. What? And maybe we can get you some tickets. Well, hold on. We got to buy the tickets. Don't no, do that. Don't no, email nothing. Somebody said no. they, were, they oh. were giving tickets away. Oh, okay. For, for people that we want to give them to? Yeah. Oh, so I apologize for being so brass. I apologize. That was a no for being so itchy bay. Ooh yeah, R A itchy bay. Always a bay. It's time to go. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate y'all. Yes, thank See you for watching. Don't, you ain't going to come out of that and talk normal. <laughs> what is this? Embarrassing us. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Thank hey, you, everybody, Grace. for watching and listening. Please get tickets to our virtual comedy show. I'm about to kill it. All right, y'all. And I podcast, subscribe. The Two Funny Mamas. Bye. It's a, it's a wrap. Chris, cut it off. <laughs> no, don't say nothing else. Don't say nothing else. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much. Chris, Bye, everybody. Hit the button. Chris. Hit the button. <laughs> Hit the button, I swear. I love sending Kim news because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like so to funny, do. Mama. <laughs> so funny, mamas. So that happens in your family. I would like to do what you're saying. Too funny, mamas. What's with the grip?